Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to California Crest. Today we're going to have a, a chat about the new California 6.1. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the ocean and the coast model. So we're going to talk you through uh, what engines are available in the uh, in the two vehicles uh, and obviously what options are available as well between those. Uh, but to start with we're going to have a look at the differences between them. And we're going to start a little bit differently. So I'm going to start and look at the coast which is the first one. I'm going to look at the ocean because that's what everybody's used to. That's what we know. And most of you probably know the specifications of that. So the ocean this time around has had an upgrade to what is already a really good specification list. Uh, so a couple of things that's new. Uh, so ACC is now standard on the ocean model. Uh, so that's a new good thing that's there as an option before. Uh, LEDs, uh, LED lights uh, are now an option. Uh, a lot of people used to order them anyway, um, but they're now standard. You also get the Discover Nav uh, media system, so that's the biggest screen. Uh, if you checked out the video that we've just done oh, when we looked at Dusseldorf, uh, the in there it shows you the biggest screen. Uh, the easy way to tell the difference between the two is the standard navigation screen has two buttons on either side. So you've got your main panel that's there, and there's two little buttons. That's the standard uh, navigation screen, the biggest screen. And the full screen has no buttons at all. It's completely touch screen uh, throughout. That's how you tell the difference uh, that's in there. So that. That Discover, uh, the basic vehicle, is with that. Um, so you get the ones with the knobs on the standard in the ocean, so you get navigation as standard, but you get the, um, uh, the, the standard unit. So you can pay to upgrade, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, you can pay to upgrade to that full screen model. Digital cockpit. If any of you have uh, used Audis and things before, uh, you might uh, be familiar with this or if you checked out any videos online from on those. Uh, so rather than your, your cockpit effectively that you're looking through through your steering wheel, uh, it's digital, um, which it is on all the models. I hasten to add actually, it's, uh, it is a digital screen on all the models, uh, but you have this digital cockpit version, uh, which is on the ocean model. So uh, you can interlay different things into your, your screen. Really good for navigation. So you've got that big navigation screen and then in the middle there, you can also display your navigation. And nice thing, uh, I quite like it, uh, I've seen it on those, I'll well, play with it, uh, it seems quite good. The big thing on both models is the new camper screen, uh, which we showed you a glimpse of in the, in the previous video. Obviously when these vehicles actually arrive with the dealership, there'll be lots of more videos coming, a lot more in-depth reviews of, of how everything works, uh, but that's a, a big thing as well uh, that's in there. Now between the two different models, uh, the kitchen cabinets are the same, you would have noticed on the previous video there are a different colour between the two. The ocean has a graphite grey where the, the coast is bright oak wood effect. That is how they describe uh, the two that's there. We've also got interior lighting uh, which is now LED based. And you'll also notice as well on the video that we did previously that the bed has changed upstairs. So it's now classed as a fully sprung loft bed. Uh, is how it's described in the brochure. So if you want to have a look, the brochures are online as well on volkswagenvans.co.uk. And then obviously what we're used to is the electric roof on the ocean. Uh, if we move to the coast, this is where the things are slightly differently. On the coast model is you don't get that electric roof. It's a manual roof, uh, which obviously gives it a different price point. From what I can see from the specifications as I've looked through at the moment, the big thing that's the difference is I try and say that the coast is very similar to what we already have or what we had in the previous SE model, but with a manual roof instead. It's slightly different to the, the current ocean model uh, on the T6 version. Um, with things that are actually quite similar. You don't get the three zone climate control as far as I can tell uh, on the coast model, which you used to get on that previous model as well. So the way to look at it, the way I'm trying to pitch it to people, I suppose, is, is that the ocean has moved up a level uh, from where it currently is on T6. So 6.1 is, is moved the bar up. Uh, and then the coast has moved into that slot just slightly below what was the previous ocean model. Uh, so I think it gives people a nice alternative between the two. I would say there's one thing uh, now if you're looking at options and things on the coast, uh, I think one thing we have to be quite careful of when we'll be doing that with our customers is that you don't add a lot of options to the coast which then takes you into ocean territory. It'd be interesting to see what your comments are on those as well, so it'd be nice to hear any comments on whether you think it's a good thing with the coast, uh, you know, whether it fills that gap and gives them a, uh, you know, a better price point. So those are kind of the differences between them. Uh, if we talk a little bit more about the coast now as I said. Uh, so you've got things like ACC standard, it's on standard on both models, uh, multifunction steering wheel which we have uh, which we have in there which is on both the new bed upstairs. So as I said the, the, the big difference is apart from the new extra features that the Ocean has got is, the big, is obviously with the manual roof uh, and as soon as we get a vehicle that's here obviously we'll, we'll be demonstrating that manual roof.
So moving on to engine choices, um, it's nice and easy for the coast. There's only one choice. Uh, it's the 150 PS uh, diesel engine with the DSG uh, gearbox that's there. Uh, when you move on to the ocean, you've got a little bit more choice. Uh, so on the ocean, you've got the same engine, the 150 DSG. Uh, you've also got the 199 um, DSG automatic, and you've got the four motion as well uh, within that range. So there's only um, four different model types effectively. So one for the coast and then three different variations on the ocean. So moving on to colours, um, this is something everybody's got an opinion on, which colours they like, which ones they don't like, uh, for example. So there's a whole range of colours. Uh, as I said, if you go onto the Volkswagen website, you can check out those on there as well. So there's some new ones, maybe Leaf Green, uh, which is a new colour, uh, which is introduced. And there's quite a few new ones as well, which have just either changed the names or come in uh, on different variations that's on there as well. So dual colours, big thing that's, uh, that's come forward here. So uh, for everybody that's overseas in different places as well, for Germany uh, and over from there, uh, you've got the full range. So there's seven different variations on the twin colours. Uh, unfortunately, here in the UK, we've just been limited to three currently as dual colours that's there. Uh, hopefully they'll uh, they'll bring out more uh, at some point as well, but at the moment that's that's the ones that we've got here. So check out those. Uh, any comments below what you think is uh, going to be good uh, that's in there. I'm quite interested to see the green and white. Uh, I think that's quite a nice striking colour uh, that's there. I've requested one of our new demonstrators uh, to be in that colour, I think, in the coast. Uh, the model I've actually asked for that one, uh, where I've gone for the copper bronze in the ocean so as soon as we get those obviously we'll take some photos we'll probably put some on instagram as well for you to have a look at and as currently stands with the uh, with the vehicles you can change the bellows colors as well uh, so you can stay with the standard gray or you can look at the uh, red or blue so. So plenty of new options as well that you can get into on these two models. Uh, they have reduced it down because the ocean now is so much more a standard um, that's there. there obviously there's the idea is there'll be less things that you wouldn't necessarily need to order, but there's still a good options list. Uh, there's still plenty of things to do there. Something I forgot to mention before was about the awning. Uh, so black awning is standard across the range now. So that's standard on both models. Fair to say pretty much everybody used to order them with, with the awning and uh, ones that weren't ordered with it with nine times out of ten were fitting them here at the dealership so they are there uh, with them but obviously you've got that chance of upgrading as well you can change that to a different colour uh, so you can go for the uh, I think it's classed as white actually or silver but, uh, a good tip for you as well is if you're doing a dual colour I personally think the lighter awning looks a lot better uh, on a dual colour so you've got a white and uh, a change of colour that's in there as well uh, so it's something to bear in mind if you're thinking about having a dual colour whether you want to upgrade and have that different colour awning rather than the black uh, which is standard. So a couple of new options, got new alloy wheels uh, so the coast comes with 16 inch alloys as standard uh, and you've got 17 inch on the ocean model and so you've got a range of wheels there that you can upgrade so you can upgrade to 17 and 18 on the coast uh, we're obviously with the ocean uh, really if you're looking at upgrading you probably upgrade to a, a, an 18 inch as well uh, that's on there obviously these vehicles will be will be able to do uh, lowering kits and things like that uh, at the dealership level if that's something that you would like uh, don't tend to do too many of those you do some uh, don't do a huge amount of them but it depends on which size of wheel that you're moving up to probably more popular with the 18 inch if you move to that uh, to have the lowering kit um, whether it's needed or not again uh, I'll let you decide and uh, there's a different opinion on whether lowering kits are, are to be done or not. As I said, you've got the navigation upgrades. So navigation is standard on the ocean uh, and it's an option on the coast. So on the coast, you've got the choice of two upgrades. So you can upgrade to the, the standard navigation to make it the same as the ocean, or you could upgrade the full full way and go to the pro version. As I said, just bear in mind when you are looking at these that you aren't getting into the territory of the ocean by the time you've added these things on. Uh, if that's something that you, uh, that you wanted to do. Uh, as standard on the coast, you get the composite media screen, uh, which is similar to what uh, we've had before, and App Connect is now standard, so you can always plug in a, a mobile smart smartphone and you can run navigation and things like that as well.
Now you've seen on the previous video, uh, we looked at the new Comfort mattress, uh, which is there, which is a thinner version of what uh, is currently there at the moment. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, mainly because of that lounge bed function, uh, if it, that's what I'm calling it, at the back. Uh, so you need a slightly different uh, uh, mat uh, to allow that to work properly, which is why they've gone for the thinner, uh, thinner mat there. So Comfort mattress is still an option on both models. Uh, really good option, I've always thought, because it's quite a, a cost-effective option from the from the factory to get that uh, with it. And then the other two options uh, which are available as well is privacy glass, uh, really popular thing as well, uh, to have privacy glass on your vehicle. Uh, and the final one as well, as you would have seen in the previous videos, we looked at those different floor options, wooden floor options. Uh, and those again are an option uh, that's on there. So uh, I'm not going through pricing today. Uh, obviously all these things are different pricing and different things as well. Uh, I think we'll probably leave that until we're a bit closer to the vehicles arriving. Uh, so we can actually talk to you in the vehicles and go, well, this is what this costs, this is what this costs. Uh, configurator is available online, as I said, with Volkswagen bands currently, uh, and all the pricing is on there for these different options. Uh, so obviously you can work your way uh, through those as well. And obviously, you know, as a dealer from under here as well, we can quote up on any vehicles that uh, uh, that you'd be looking at as well, if that was the case uh, from there. I think the big thing will be when the vehicles launch and when they're actually physically with us in the showroom, uh, which we're hoping to have the vehicles by the end of the year, whether that's that, that's what the latest information that I had from on here. Uh, so excuse me, that information you might be wrong when uh, when this video comes out uh, it's changing all the time but that's when we're hoping that the vehicles will be with us possibly early next year uh, if not and then obviously we can do lots of videos on them show how everything works uh, and go a bit more in depth on the uh, on the options and things like that I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit different because it's just been me talking to you with, with things in there, but uh, we've always said we wanted to do an options video and, and talk to you about these. And as it's a new model, it's the first of it. We will do a more in-depth one uh, later on where we'll actually just look at each individual model and we'll go through each individual option that you've got there so we can talk to you about some of the newer options that are there, uh, like lane assist, uh, which is another great thing which keeps you in your lane and lets you know if you're moving out of your lane that's there. Things like trailer assist, which is a, a really good option if you do any towing on your vehicle. So we'll go into more in depth um, detail about those particular options for different vehicles as well. So uh, later on this week, I'm uh, off to the camping show uh, down at the NEC uh, to have a look at the Grand. As you know, I've, I've seen the Grand many a time now, uh, but this will be the first time I get a chance to have a look at the right-hand drive version of it. So uh, what it will be into the uh, into the UK. Uh, I'm sure many of you have probably been down there this week uh, to have a look at it as well. And obviously we'll do more videos now on the California Grand, so we're doing video on, on what we have a look at at the show, and we're doing a video just like we're doing now uh, for the options list because both these vehicles are available to pre order. Uh, so you can order 6.1 and Grand uh, currently as we speak at the moment, they are available for pre ordering, and obviously, we'll go into the system then uh, and wait for build weeks to, uh, to do them to get them through. So, as I said, hope you enjoyed today's video, a little bit different. Uh, please, any comments, put them in the comments box below, uh, and uh, obviously, we'll get back to you as soon as we can on those. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, tick the button uh, bell uh, that's up there as well. I keep telling me to mention that. Uh, that's there, and we'll see you again.